the main calculation involves knowing how many stars in our galaxy could be old enough to host life. And we know how life formed on, on Earth and our own solar system. We know how long it took. We know what kind of metallicity, that is the kind of metals we have. And if you look at what other stars in our galaxy has those properties, you're able to come up with this number, which the uh, average is 36 for the number of possible planets that could host intelligent communicating civilizations. One of the big unknowns in this is how long do these intelligent communicating civilizations last? If it's very short, then you wouldn't expect to see very many. But if it's very long, say a few million years, then you would expect to find more. So by finding these, we're going to find out some idea of how long our own civilization could last. Okay, well, if we're looking to find them, then we can only assume they're looking to find us if the developmental progress has been about the same. Uh, so why has there not been any sort of communication, in your opinion? That is a great question, and that's known as the Fermi paradox, and it's something that people have been asking about for, for decades now. My personal take is that it's just very rare that these type of civilizations that could communicate, that have technology are very rare and that their lifetimes are, are not very long. Even if they're thousands of years, you still would not expect to find very many close to us. So they're just far away. And so we just haven't been able to detect them yet. Uh, and they haven't been able to detect us because we've only been emitting light, like radio waves, into the galaxy for about 100 years. And 100 light years is how far that could have traveled. But that's not very far. And so it will take thousands of years for our detections, our radio uh, emission to reach those other stars where possibly life exists. So it's just that they're so far away is probably the reason we haven't seen them yet. And that's what our calculations suggest.